Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Last episode, we built this massive bridge that you see in front of us, which connects the city of Mesa here to the city of Downey and the rest of our public transportation network. And I think what we're going to do in this video is continue to connect Mesa up to the larger public transportation system by adding in airports. So if we come in here we can see we have these small airfields and I believe we just recently unlocked larger airports so we'll probably be using these airports as that's what we've most recently unlocked and so I think we'll have one in Mesa and then we'll have one on the other side of the map over here in Sacramento. So this will also finally connect Sacramento up to some form of public transportation, although it won't be the greatest connection since getting to any other city from Sacramento would be still a pretty large pain, but at least there will be starting to have some connections by plane. So what we're going to do is start out here in the city of Mesa, and I think we'll have our airport either over here or somewhere over in this direction. Now probably the toughest thing with airports is finding a good location that doesn't completely destroy the terrain. As you can see it needs a pretty flat open area to leave enough space for planes to take off and land. So maybe we could try to get it somewhere around here where it won't deform the land too much and then we can smooth out sort of those edges around it. So I think we'll go with the airport probably placed right about there and that costs us about 25 million I believe it said but now we can come through here and make the terrain a little bit better all around this airport. Alright so here's how the terrain around the airport's going to look and we'll probably keep it like this. We cleared out some of the trees near the runway since we'll want the aircraft to have a pretty clear view of the runway as it comes in and as it leaves. So I think I'm pretty okay with it on this end. So let's go place our airport in Sacramento and then We'll connect them up, get the planes flying, and then we'll go through and detail these areas. So now finding a spot for an airport in Sacramento is going to be a little challenging since pretty much everything over here is a hill. There is however a chance since this industry is going away we could fit one here at very minimal uh, terrain changes. So. We might just speed up this process and since it's already going we'll just delete it. We'll delete some of that road that's here too. We'll of course rebuild that once we get the airport placed. But now let's see what happens if we do something like this. So it seems a placement right about here is probably going to be best. So we'll just place that down like so. You can see some spots where it forces the terrain to adjust and fix itself, but we'll come through and make it look much better and cover up all these jagged edges that pop up everywhere. So let's start by just flattening the terrain pretty much everywhere that we need to fix or hide those edges. So we'll do that, and then probably the trickiest part to blend is going to be the cliff between the airport and the city down here. So we can get something that sort of looks like this, but you still get that really jagged edge from these buildings down here, and I don't really know the best way to go about that. Maybe, just maybe, we can change where the main entrance is. So we'll put that over here, we'll throw down a passenger terminal here, and then the hangar 
right here next to it. And then delete all of these on this end. So this could work out as that'll free up a lot of the space over here to sit a lot nicer in comparison to the rest of the landscape around here. So let's just flatten out some of this, smooth it back out. And it looks like the city just built a road here which we don't necessarily want. Looks like we might be fighting this. Alright, so we'll leave this. We'll figure out what to do with this road since the city insists on it so much. But we'll come through, flatten out all these areas. And now, this doesn't look too bad. I think we might need to just smooth out a little bit of this edge. Bring it out a bit more. And then just smooth it. So then I think this is pretty much how we're going to leave it in terms of the landscaping for this area. So let's quickly set up just some connections and then let's get a plane flying between these two cities and then we'll come back through, detail it all up and make it look good. So we'll start off here in Sacramento since that's where we already are. And we'll delete this road as we're going to be reworking how we get up here since we'll need a good amount of flat area to consistently get a road up here. So first things first, let's get a road placed right along the front here and we can get that pretty much going almost straight across the front. I think that looks pretty good. And then what we can do is we'll bring it out just a little more. And then here's where we're going to curve and start going down at a pretty steep angle. So we're pretty much going to do this all with the... By forcing the ground to be in here. And then we'll come back through and fix the landscaping so it looks a little more natural. So we'll just continue to bring this down like so, although that got a little bit weird here. So here we are finally able to connect up this road. So now let's come through with the smoothing tool first and smooth all of this up. That'll help get the rough general shape sort of intact. And then we'll come in here with the flatten tool and just every now and then give it a little click so that we get a good amount of land on both sides of the road. And then we'll come back through and repeat the process of smoothing until everything looks how we want it to. Alright, so we changed the road just so we get a more direct path and the slope is still, although it's pretty steep, it works just as well as what we had before. So we can now maybe think about smoothing this bit out. And then same here. And then we'll leave this all flat as we do have somewhat of a plan for it. But now what we'll do is we'll extend this road to come straight out. We'll grab a bus station and we'll get this placed right about here and we'll come in configure it get some extra building capacity in here so yeah I think we'll keep it like this as this isn't too terrible it looks to be pretty flat although there's a weird bump but that's fine. And we don't have any bus routes through Sacramento. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to add another bus station somewhere near the beginning of the city where you would come in by road. So I think somewhere about 
here would be good. We'll do that. We'll add a build one building at the back. And then we'll fix the terrain real quick. And then what we'll do is set up a bus loop in Sacramento and then have a line running from this bus station to this bus station all the way up here. We can then have these buses come out from down by the food processing complex. And we'll select, let's select these GM fishbowl buses, as those seem pretty interesting. And these will be the ones that go around in a loop through Sacramento. And then we'll come back to this road depot, find some more buses, which we might keep as the same GM fishbowl buses, as those have a pretty good power rating, so they won't ever really slow down on hills, which for Sacramento is mostly hills. So we'll have it run between the two bus stations and that should start working out just fine. So it'll take a while for those buses to get up here and start working, but then we can come over to Mesa and do the same thing over here. So let's come out here and we'll make sure the terrain is perfectly flat out this way. Grab our road and then we'll have this going straight across the front here again. So we'll place this down like so. We'll continue this straight. We'll get a bus station here. We'll add two buildings to it and then we'll connect up this road to the city. So then to connect this road, I think we'll just continue this straight out from this intersection. If we can get it lined up properly, that looks pretty straight. Then we'll curve it up this way. And then we'll have it connect straight up into a T intersection right here. All right, so now what we have to do then is connect the bus line between this bus station and this bus station, and then we should be ready to buy some planes. So first, let's just add another platform. All right, so now we have our platform in here. Let's go to our road depot and buy some buses. Let's grab, let's grab six buses, and then those will run from over here to the airport. So then finally, let's have a look at our planes. So if we come in here, select just passenger planes, we can take a look and see we have quite a few planes that are available to us, and we'll probably go with one of these two down here, either the Lockheed Super Constellation or the de Havilland Comet, as both of those carry a lot of people. However, this one travels much faster. Now, I think we'll start with the Super Constellation planes, just because we don't have any air travel yet, and so there's really not any demand there. So we'll see how these hold up, and then depending on the demand and how many people we get wanting to fly, we can purchase new planes and adjust accordingly. So here is our first plane getting ready to take off. This one looks pretty nice. I quite like the look of this aircraft. and. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good view as it begins to take off here out of the city of Mesa. So here it is leaving the city and it looks like it's going to be flying hopefully over all of these mountains. I guess there's not really any other choice if it ends up colliding with them at all. Because I don't really want to destroy these mountains just so that these planes fly realistically. but. We should be able to speed this up and watch it as it flies over the city.
you can see here some mines sort of tucked in between these mountains and then out in the distance there you can start to see the city of Jackson and Scottsdale so here we are flying over our biggest cities on the map where that signals that we can see Sacramento just over here in the distance so here comes our plane coming in for a landing in Sacramento looks like a pretty challenging landing based on the way it's coming in but looks like we have no people waiting for the airport but I'm sure that demand will build up soon enough and as this plane touches down I think we're okay to leave this area and focus on detailing the airports so coming over here into Mesa we're going to start detailing and really the detailing that we're going to do is filling in this rectangle here with a decently sized parking lot since usually with airports they come with massive parking lots and even though we're not going to detail something massive we could fill in this area here which would make sense as the bus station is here and it's right next to the main entrance and everything so we'll do that and then we'll do the same in Sacramento and then go from there. Alright, so we switch this around so that our airport main entry is right next to the bus station. So that will make much more sense now. And what we're going to do is pretty much just paint asphalt all throughout here. So we'll grab one of our brushes, probably this one and we'll just come through and paint all of this now someone in a previous video commented a tip that if we hold shift with the brush set and hold shift click and drag we can get rid of these little odd colored paths that the buildings and stations automatically make so if we just do that here we can see that path automatically turned into the asphalt that we were using and although we can't adjust the elevation of it we can make it blend in quite a lot more by making it the same material now this also applies to painting within building footprints as well so for instance here if we bring this brush size way down and we wanted to make everything except for the planter uh, asphalt we can hold shift and just come through here and paint right up to the edge of the asphalt and that'll give this whole area a much cleaner much more connected feel as we come through and detail everything so we'll use this same trick to clean up the front edges of all of these buildings especially where they meet the road and between them you can see there's a tiny dirt strip where the road ends and sometimes grass but by holding shift and just dragging through it we can have all of that pretty much just disappear and this will all look like one connected airport so now after very carefully going through each one of these buildings and painting the ground around them we get this nice looking front entrance and so really all that's left now is to detail the parking lot and then we can move on over to Sacramento so now what we'll do is come in here to our fences and we'll find these fences that pretty much match the airport ones we'll have it flip the correct direction and then we'll drag this straight as we can all the way here to the road and then all the way over to the bus station so then what we'll also do is probably fence off the bus station itself just to help further improve security and so we'll place that fence there 
and then bring this down to connect somewhere about here. So I think that would look good. And then all that's left is to add in the parking spaces and the cars and then add the finishing touches. So now that we have this trick of knowing how to paint around the roads, let's come straight in from here. We'll try to get this as straight as possible. And we'll get it to about here. We'll click build anyway. And then we'll come through with our paint tool, find the asphalt that we want, hold shift, and then paint over all of this. So we'll open up the fence here. We'll delete these three, like so, and that'll act as our entry. And then we'll find our parking spaces. And I think we'll pretty much just go off of this road, at least for this side. We have a lot more space over here, so that might be a little harder to fill. But we'll come in here, increase this to 30, maybe 35. So it seems like 37 is the perfect number for that. And then we'll want to go for the next one and get this to line up so we'll have that placed there and then hopefully if we space this out correctly we should be able to plop this right along here and that looks like pretty even and equal spacing to me so then we just have to fill in this area and then we can copy it all over on this side all right, so now we have our parking lot here. And so now we have the very tedious job of putting cars in most of these spaces. All right, and after quite a while of clicking and placing cars, our parking lot is full for the most part. So let's get some tiny details in here and then we can move on to detailing Sacramento. All right, so I think this is how we're going to leave off the airport in Mesa. If we let this play, we can see how it looks with everything running. And I think this looks pretty good, so let's move on to Sacramento. So now we have our airport over here in Sacramento. And based on how that last airport went with detailing. I think we're going to make a slightly smaller parking lot here for Sacramento. Also considering this city will probably end up being smaller anyway. So let's get into laying the groundwork for that. So we'll want to have this road come out perfectly straight and we'll keep it level too. So we'll bring it to about here and then We'll leave the edge there, which we'll cap off with a fence. So then next we'll come through with our brush and paint this all to be asphalt. And we'll come through and do the same thing here in terms of painting the ground in each area. Alright, so now that this whole area is pretty much prepared, let's find our fences and we'll get those placed first. We'll get this one to come off right off of that fence there. And we'll have to pretty much eyeball this, although we can sort of align it with those lights that you see back there on the runway. So right about there, I think works out. So we'll just bring this fence over to the bus station. Have that go right about there. And then we'll just 
follow around the bus station like so and close this all up. So let's now get our parking spots placed and it looks like it's not perfectly level in here. So let's just grab this, we'll increase the brush size and strength and we'll just come through all this once again to double check and make sure that it's the same height and it just looks like we might end up with a few issues so we'll place that right about there and then we can cover this all up in the end once we get some uh, nicer assets in here. Alright, so here's our parking lot. Let's fill this with cars and details like we did in Mesa, and then I think that'll pretty much be it. Alright, so here's this parking lot. This one's also fairly full, so let's come in and add some lights throughout the parking lot and then some of the smaller details like the barriers and ticketing machines. So now we have the lights in. Let's come over here to our parking details over here. So we'll get the barrier. We'll actually have it on this side. So we'll place it there. Ticket machine we can still place right about here. And then we can have the sign still right next to it. All right, so this is what we're going to leave this off as. I think this is starting to look very nice. And we even have a few people starting to uh, wait at the airport. Our buses don't seem to be carrying much, if any, people here, but I'm sure as the city grows and demand builds, we'll start to see more people taking planes and the airport to travel. And same thing over here on the Mesa side, it looks like there's not really many people waiting to go on the airport at the moment. We do occasionally get a few people at the bus station, but it doesn't seem to be anything too crazy or consistent. So we might actually just sell two of these aircrafts until demand really builds up, but for now I'm happy with how this is. So while we let those planes fly around, let's just pick up a few small things before we end the episode off here. And I think the first thing's going to be here at this bus station finally upgrading all of these buses as we were previously running these Fuso B8 or B46 buses those had a capacity of 10 and if we take a look scrolling through here we have quite a few buses that can carry significantly more people including this Citroen U55 bus so we'll try these out I'm not too sure how effective they'll be since their running cost is quite higher than any of the other buses we currently have, but I'm sure if we can keep them running full, this will greatly help with moving people around our cities. Also just coming through here, it looks like this city made a weird connection, so we'll just fix that right up real quick. We'll grab this and connect it like so and it'll probably insist on making a connection this way so we'll just add this road in but it looks like it just did that. We'll try to get this in before the city does right there like that and I think we'll leave this intersection looking like that after we smooth it out real quick just so it looks a bit nicer. 
So it also looks like these cities are finally starting to meet here in the middle as the buildings are starting to mix. So we'll want to make sure we keep our roads clean in terms of the intersections and where they meet. So here we might do something more along the lines of this and then have these two meet right there. And looking everywhere else, it seems to be doing all right. The only thing that I start to worry about here is all of these buses starting to back up and get stuck in traffic. So what we might do is, after fixing some of these intersections, I think we might upgrade this road to be a four-lane road and we might give it a dedicated bus lane so that our buses don't get stuck in traffic and they'll be able to quite easily flow in and out of this area pretty easily and it looks like this is going to ruin a bit of what we have about here but really we don't need a bus lane here since all of our buses that take this road come up and into the train station so we'll just continue this all the way across until we reach over closer to this bus station all right in the end we did end up upgrading this road and we just got rid of the hedge fence in the front here and so let's just add that back in real quick so it should meet about like so and we can leave that off like this. So it seems like we might be overloading some of our terminals so let's just sell a few of these vehicles since they we upgraded them to carry significantly more people. So we'll bring these down to 16 buses each and hopefully that'll help clear this up as let's just take a look here and compare it looks like the loading speed is slightly slower so that's probably where our issue is coming in as the buses now have to wait a little bit longer to load and unload passengers but hopefully the trade-off with the larger capacity should pay off and hopefully these buses will begin to spread themselves out farther along the lines all right so i think that's where we're going to leave it off in this video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you have any suggestions or feedback leave a comment below thanks for watching and have a great day